proverbial elder who sees lying on the floor what a child would not see on top of the highest trees of arrogance. Okay? You have the eyes of proverbial guardian angels sent to me in the midnight of youth, yet I say you have the eyes of Amalinza the cat, suited to reading the heartbeats of the night. Okay? Time I will not leave you off without telling you how you have the eyes of Baba Fakunle. They say he is blind as a bat, yet his vision is as clear as a newborn child. Except anything is given from above. A man can do nothing. And so in response to the music that is good, being paid to be heard twice, I offer a song in my mother tongue. You have your hands with you. Let us lighten the mood a bit. that Chuku made is good. If you doubt me, ask your nose and then your mouth and every other form of humanness you could feel. Have you ever wondered that maybe this life is the dream we walk from nothingness in eternity to sleep into reality and so take it easy on yourself. Not every prey needs to die. After all, smile at your neighbors. Smile at the rowdy waves for they are excited and cannot hide it at seeing you. Everything Odudua left us is good. And so, when you sleep, your last word in this world stands still as the universe runs to its numerous ends, not giving a hoot and a care when, where, how you jump back in. And so, drop your shoulders a bit more. Enjoy this umbilical ties to the earth, for you might wake up late from your next dream. Am I saying too much? You are someone who is nobody. Savor your seat. Keep it warm while it lasts. For we say that when you keep a seat at a funeral, when one man leaves, another takes its place. We are all like grass. Yet I maintain that all our lives are like music. When you find the miracle notes that holds the harmony together, you don't stop hitting it. On the day when Kweku Anansi, purported to steal all of wisdom, it was his son in Tikuma who told him, Father, do not hide this gold in front of you, otherwise climbing the tree is difficult. Hide it behind your back. And so, Africa's future leaders, you simply owe the responsibility of training the future who is an infant the way to go. One day you'll be old enough, it will learn to treat you with some respect. And so, it is time to start thinking. But good intentions alone are not enough. And so I send you to tell the king that white teeth are no guarantee against bad breath. Tell the chief priest, in addition, that his scarlet teeth are of no omen. It's simply his abuse of cola. Welcome to Africa. Where everybody knows the truth, yet a child is not allowed to tell it. And so I maintain, the law is the pet of the truth. And so I'll be a lawyer only later in my life. Yet, the truth is not as important as the telling it is given. The truth. When a child learns to wash his hands well, they say he eats with the elders. 
And now I know that in the rings of the elders, even there, there is an elder. What happens to an elder who has not learned to wash his hands well? Does he lose his seat of being an elder? So who is an elder? I crack my nuts on the knees of the elders, and so I know the sound of the hollow bone. I was told, beard is the broom with which the elders gather wisdom. I have not attained that yet. Elders raise their beards in the due to lose the pigment of youth. But mind you, when you meet an elder who totes no beard, he might have picked all of life's experiences. Time has treated me well. Okay, the beautiful one has been kind to me. Yet time has no gender. Time betrays no emotion. Time is not your friend. Time shows no favor. You see, you are passing too quickly to the surprise of time who sits in council with the sun and the moon and everybody else who cares to pry. Slow down. Look into the sky. Look behind you. You might just find your shadow for in the full glare of light it might dare to even desert you. We pass this way this once. When you are gone, what name will be given? My neighbors, I came this way deliberately a second time to tell you. Mine is simply a message of love. I appreciate all of you. I wish I had enough wine in this girl, but it only comes out as music because it is dry enough to rattle from the center of the earth where I come from. That crossroads of dream, that market of nine moons, where it all began, that place. When in the beginning he said, let there be light and there was water. Water that you dare to trap in a bottle. How do you trap life in a bottle? How do you trap our histories in a bottle? Somebody says, my words are heavy. My words are pregnant because Africa is pregnant with dreams waiting for a convenient bay where she can push them out. I would dare to call your name in four tongues at once. If I dared to move, I'd have about 16 stanzas in three minutes. But hey, time is no friend of ours. But time has been good to me to have lent me these eyes, this feet, to come and meet all of you in another communion of ourselves. 20 and 22. From there we go 20 and 23. Next year, I promise, when I come, I shall beat my chest for you because it's as good a drum as any animal skin could ever be. When I beat my chest, I feel the river. That is all the love that you show me in Lagos from Accra. And the writer king who saves communion wine from the calabash. I do not come to pour libation. If I drop this, it will crack. Instead of that, I choose to make beautiful music for you. Good evening, world. Mm, yeah, don't call. Mm, yeah, don't call. Mm, yeah, don't call. This is yours? Is it yours? Mm, yeah, don't call. It's yours? Yeah, don't call. The microphone is yours. Yeah, don't call. Mm. If you forget everything that ever confused you, mesmerized you, insult me. My name is Philip Wachidria Oyinka, but even if you butcher my name, you will call me Nana, king of the earth, the place where every man must pay his dues. The earth, the womb, the tombs of time. In the beginning, God created this woman. I am proud to be son of these soils you walk. This poem is incomplete. A year from now, we shall continue. Thank you.